She's a Mona Lisa. Hi guys, hello. This is still Shirley Main, and welcome back to my channel. How have you been? I hope that you're doing well and that you know you're still keeping safe. Whatever you do, even if you go outside, I just hope that you're still keeping everything safe. Okay. Um, I'm gonna share one thing. I went to Kyoto, Kyoto city today, and I was able to go to the mall. Okay. But there are not a lot of people in the mall right now. And one thing that really made me happy today, even if it was you know, a bit dangerous to be roaming around. Okay, I kept my mask on, have my alcohol with me, and that I went and saw this okay kimono shop in Kyoto Obenti. Um they're selling uh, some I think some like uh, retail or old clothes that people didn't want to use anymore and they're gonna sell it again. So it's like a retail shop, but they are not destroyed or whatever. They're actually really clean, but they're actually now just disposing it, okay? So I was lucky enough that while I was browsing the aisles, okay, I found just 1,000 yen kimono, okay? And those are not the heavy ones. These are the uh, simple ones that you could use when you want to go for, you know, like a Photoshop or you know, if you want a collection of kimono, these are the ones that are for uh, autumn season. Not so hot, not so cold, in just the middle. The shop owner, okay, actually told me that if you want to use this for summer, you could use it, but with the just the inner, the inner, uh, you have uh, a white inner robe when you use a kimono okay you have to be clear about that but sometimes you can buy just a white thing to show that you have something inside because you should not wear your kimono bare okay you still have something inside unlike you cut that you can just wear your undergarments and then the yukata over it okay and yeah guys I wanted to share to you about the yukata but now those yukata are now in the Philippines okay it went home first for me so this is the only one I could like show you off and guys I'm really happy since I was able to get really beautiful designs but which is 1000 yen per piece okay let's start okay guys Wow. Okay, so this is actually really beautiful and the design, okay, is so Japanese. Okay, so I'm gonna go nearer. It's like autumn, spring, and the spring, maybe. Okay, and you can just see the design. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I don't know how to describe it to you, but it, it doesn't look like it's used actually. It's still new. You could see it's used once or twice because when they tried to wash it off, you could see at least a crumble on the cloth. But no, it's it's really flawless. Okay, so I think these are new. It's just that maybe they didn't use it or just, I don't know, use it but didn't wash it? I know, but really. It looks new, but it smells like you know, the one I always buy in the shop. So I could flip like that. Okay, I'm gonna hide my sleeves. Okay, and then it's always like that. Okay, so it would look like that. But you should have a white um, t shirt. Or, no, no, it's not a t shirt. There's a term for it, but you have a white undergarment inside. So I'm sorry if I'm using the black one. Okay, I don't have a white thing with me now. But this is how it would actually look like. But imagine this would be white. Okay? And you can have your ubi here. So I am still learning how to do the uh, obi on my own, okay? Because it's a bit hard to do that. I have my own yukata back home and um, I have lots of it. But the way to, you know, wear the yukata is a bit more different than using this. This is a bit more different and it actually needs more skills and you have to at least know how to properly do it. Because if you don't, it's actually gonna be like um, shitsure or you're gonna be a bit more disrespectful if you don't do it the right way and you don't use the things that you're supposed to use with it, okay? 
This is the first one. Okay. Oh god, it's so beautiful. Really beautiful. This second one I chose is like I I think I didn't buy a color like this from the first collection that I, I bought. I think I have 15 others back in the Philippines now. So I chose this and it's really because of the color and of the design. So if you could see here, okay, I think this is also new. Like you could just see that it's not even very crumpled. So I think this is new but not just used. And you could see it here. I just go mirror for a bit. So you could see here the design. Okay, and then same here, nothing here, but if you go at the back of the kimono, you can see the design there, and this one, okay, and then this one, but it's really going to be good, and the main emphasis of this is the end part of the kimono, like that. Just look at the transition of colors. It's really, really beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna try to put it in. Okay, and it would look like that. You will have your belt here. It will be. Okay, and then that's how it would look behind. Okay. And if you want to look at how it would look like down, you should not have like your breast should not be like flat when you wear the kimono because it just looks more like more pristine to have it flat. So when um, I had my friend's mother. Okay, my friend's mother go to a kimono rental for their trip here in uh, Kyoto. Um, the sensei put a binder here on Ant's, you know, chest to make it a bit more flat. So, I am so, I don't know, I'm so happy when I got to see this because they actually scream a lot of the designs that I yearn for okay don't get me wrong I love the ones I first bought but this just just looks so pristine <sighs> so clean it's just so beautiful okay that's how it would look like Oops. and this looks so clean and I think it would go to any color, bright or dark, it would go to it. Okay. So I'm gonna try it on. And I'm like, this, this, these guys are made for me. <laughs> these guys are made for me because I'm only just one fifty centimeters. <laughs> okay. And then let me turn around for you. That's how it would look like. Okay. Ah, I love this one. Have two more. If you look at it closely, it's gonna remind you of something alive. Okay? And it reminds me of two things that I usually often see here in Japan. Okay, so if you can see the mixture of the color, especially at the end, okay, this just reminds me a lot of koi fishes and because of the orange tinge and the peach one and like a silvery, no sorry, a gold blush to it, it reminds me of koi fishes and of peaches, okay, peach blossoms. And I don't know, it just it just attracts me so much. For this, it's not about the design, but it's about the color. 
that was into it. It's really, really simple, but you can still appreciate it. Again, I'm gonna go nearer for you to see it. You can appreciate the mixture of color, and yeah. Okay, it doesn't have a lot of like illustration in it, but it's more of like looking calm and just being peachy. <laughs> okay, and this bottom part. Okay, you would see it if I try to wear it. So this is the last one I was able to get and you could see that it is really dark and at first you would think that it's not maybe the design is a bit um, dark or a bit like scary I think but if you look closely at it okay you could see the designs okay it really has a good design and um, the sensei told me that this is okay for young people because it's not always bright you could also try to have a dark color but use a bright colored op okay and then this is how it would look from the back let me try it it will look like this and then it goes at the back So what's really beautiful with Kim Online, even with your card, is that you can play around with the colors. You can mix and match them, okay, according to how you like it, the theme of your um, your card or kimono would be. But most often than not, they have this um, like you know the same with your fashion, the same with the colors you want. You can have a monochromatic look, but you could also have the best look for kimono and yukata is that the contrasting colors of a bright to a dark one or a dark one to a bright, uh, you know, the belt or the OB. I even asked the sensei if, example, I don't want to use it and I could just make it like a design or a tapestry and she said, that's actually what a lot of gaijin is doing or foreigners are doing that's why when they go to Kyoto most often than not they even buy the cheap ones because even if it's cheap it's really detailed and they would just use it they just buy it if you ask if she asked them you want a set kimono set they would actually say that no we just want this um, cloth because we could just make it as a tapestry and I asked her, is it not shitsurei or is it not disrespectful to do that? And she said no because actually if you try to, you know, make it as a design on your wall or on your table, okay, it's still good looking and it would not at least be redeemed as disrespectful. So I ended up buying one set. Oh, sorry, one uh, OB, but I already have like four back home, and these are really heavy if you buy them in bulk, okay? I'm telling you, you're not supposed to buy them in really big bulk if you're not good at carrying them, okay? So, these are just five pieces, but I had a hard time to carry them because I also have my backpack and my other uh, shopping, you know, uh, at the ones I shopped, the clothes I had. So yeah, it's actually going to be the next video to this, so I'm going to show you the OB. Okay, oops. This is how it looks like guys. Just look at the design. Okay, it's really beautiful and very much detailed. You could actually feel it. You could even feel the details, the texture, okay? And the ones I have back home are more orange black and orange, um, I think it was reddish 
color. This is the common mixture of colors to use because it almost, almost goes with all colors. Okay, you know, the primary colors. And as I said, if I want to have a stronger impact, I would use that black um, kimono with this belt. Okay, it could still be good, but if I want it to be more prominent, I would use a brighter color ubi. But this would be good with whites, with light tones, because it would just pop out. Okay? Honestly, you would not want them to be too exposed to the light or sunlight, like the windows, because they're gonna fade. This, this type of cloth, okay, I had this. I used to collect this kinds in the Philippines. You know, I, I love things about Japan. And yeah, this would fade in just maybe two or three months. This would actually fade if you always leave it direct sunlight. And then, yeah, this would not be fast to fade, but it would be brittle, okay? This thread's gonna be brittle. Long exposure to moisture and sunlight. So I would honestly say it's not good to use them window tapestries but it's more better like walls or you know table and then you put the co uh, like the glass tables and then you put it under so it still gets protected but it is still you know very much open to the eyes to appreciate so what can you say guys about uh, this kimono and this opi if you have any other comments or questions just put it on the comment box below and I'm going to talk to you there. And also, thank you very much. Please expect to have more videos about this kind of stuff in this channel. And yeah, once I go home, I'm really excited to show you the things I was able to buy and the ones I plan to at least, you know, enjoy or at least have a cosplay with or have a photo shoot with back home. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next videos. Bye-bye.